Where is Jack Ma? That's the question on everybody's lips. It's the 2020 version of Where's Waldo, except we don't have a telltale red and white striped shirt, blue trousers, and bobble hat to help us out. Hey Luxers, Jack Ma is the founder of Alibaba Group, the site where you can buy anything from a cryolipolysis slimming machine to portable container toilets and everything in between. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Ma hasn't been seen in a few months. He was first reported MIA, but new reports suggest he's just hanging low. He made some controversial comments back in October 2020, suggesting that China's regulation system was stifling innovation and said their global banking rules were like an old people's club. We sincerely hope he resurfaces soon, because you'll understand what a loss it'll be if he doesn't after watching this video of 15 business lessons from Jack Ma. Number 1. Learn a skill that sets you apart from others. Ma is from Hangzhou, the capital of Shijiang. A visit to his hometown by President Nixon in 1972 saw an influx of tourists to Hangzhou, and Ma, as a young teenager, saw this as a golden opportunity. He would wake up at 5 a.m. every morning and take the 40-minute trip to the city's main hotel and greet all the tourists in English. From there, he started offering tours of the city in exchange for English lessons. It was one of his tourists that called him Jack, and it's stuck ever since. Find out what skills could set you apart from your peers. Learn something new that could put you at an advantage down the line. A simple example, stop scrolling social media and download a language learning app. When you're a bit bored or waiting in line, learn a new language instead of wasting time on other people's drama. Number 2. Let your success be everyone's success. Don't make it about you and your profit. No doubt about it, Jack Ma is a successful guy. He's worth $50.6 billion, and yet is described as being humble, down-to-earth, and approachable. That's something one doesn't hear of every day. His main purpose from the beginning was to change the lives of his consumers for the better. Most e-commerce sites are there purely to generate profit, but Ma's approach was to have a successful and profitable site for retailers and ensure that the customers were happy and being offered items that would improve their lives. Money is the byproduct for Ma. The real wealth for him is seeing the customers happy and businesses doing well. Number 3. Don't let your beginnings, however humble they may be, dictate your future. Write those words down, Aluxers, because they're important. Jack Ma came from nothing. He wasn't overly bright, he didn't get into Harvard, despite trying 10 times. He was the only applicant of 24 people to not get hired at KFC, and he doesn't know shit about tech. Well, he knows enough, but he hires the right people who do know their stuff, and that's why it works. He is resilient and he truly believes that your hardiness, spirit, and grit will be the determining factor between succeeding and failing. So, when an opportunity comes your way, give it your best shot. At least you can look back and say with 100% conviction, you gave it your all. Number 4. Operate with Ethical Business Practices with 60 million transactions taking place every day, there's certainly room for unethical behavior somewhere in between all that cash flow. But Jack Ma is not about that life. Alibaba and sister companies Tmall and Taobao are behind anti-piracy laws all the way. Pirated goods are not allowed to be sold on their platforms and they have deleted over 370 million product listings and assisted authorities arresting more than 400 illegal traders on their sites. Each seller is subjected to a trustworthiness rating system, providing the buyer complete transparency with each transaction. As he puts it, today making money is very simple, but making sustainable money while being responsible to the society and improving the world is very difficult. Number 5. You're not going to be able to be good at everything. 
We'd all love to be great at everything, but it's just not possible. Even Jack Ma is not good at everything. He firmly believes that we should acknowledge our shortcomings and hire someone to do the things we're not able to do. But don't make the mistake of just hiring someone with the best qualifications, because as Ma says, you need the right people with you, not the best people. So maybe you're torn between two people. One has more experience than the other, but the latter is the perfect match for your company. You should totally opt for the latter. You can always improve their skills or experience, but changing someone's attitude can be pretty damn difficult. We'll go into more depth about this important business lesson a little later. Number 6. Consider all business options. Having a dream or goal is wonderful, but we all know it's not all a straight line from point A to point B. The line to the end result looks more like a toddler was let loose on your wall with a permanent marker. Jack Ma advises one to not get fixated with just one idea because you could be missing out on an even bigger, better opportunity. And sure, maybe you started off wanting to become a doctor and you're worried that people will think you're a failure if you change your course and end up breeding quail eggs. The real question is, are you happy? Then that's all that matters. This Chinese billionaire encourages you to go way beyond your professional and financial ability. He believes you should identify all potential business opportunities, explore each one of them and what they need from you to be a success, and that way you're bound to find the perfect match for you. Number 7. Don't wait for the right time. There is no right time. The time is now. Jack Ma said, When we started Alibaba, the market was really cold. Yet he and others involved in the startup persevered and they went from starting a small company in Ma's apartment to being one of the largest e-commerce sites in the world. Ma suggests finding a problem and working on a way to fix it. Never stop learning. Never stop innovating. Don't crumble when you get rejected. And most importantly, take the first step. Number 8. When getting a team together, don't hire the best people, hire the right people. Everything else will fall into place. Jack Ma hires a team player over a Harvard graduate in most cases. Not to say an Ivy League graduate can't be a team player, but their qualification doesn't matter as much to him as their ability to work together and inspire each other. He believes his success was only possible through the people that he was working with. He seeks out people who share his vision and mission. That's a point of someone's character, not something you can learn at school. He avoids people who are self-serving and bully or disrespect their colleagues. He looks for people who will be a motivating factor to those around them and there to spur on the team. Number 9. Giving up is not an option. Jack Ma doesn't settle for failure. His career has more dips and roundabouts than a roller coaster, but one thing is for sure, in all of his failures, he was honing his skill and growing into the business leader he is today. Before Alibaba, he had already benched two businesses, namely Hope Translation and China Pages. In 1999, at a risky point in the dot-com era, he started Alibaba. The original business focused on connecting Chinese factories to overseas markets. The business made good initial progress until the bubble burst. The media was not kind and public opinion leaned toward Jack Ma accepting another defeat. Even Ma himself considered returning to teaching. Instead, he drew strength from the struggles of the revolutionary Mao Zedong after the Long March and started his own recertification movement to set Alibaba on a new course. He decided a shared purpose of Alibaba and defined the company's values and then began the process of pivoting. Number 10. Global Intelligence is Key GQ, or global intelligence, is a non-negotiable skill needed to exceed as a global leader today. This is something that Jack Ma has mastered. He is comfortable and adaptable to different cultures, places, and spaces, and is able to adapt his business practices to optimize his success. If you want to increase your global intelligence, it's as easy as working on these seven elements that will build up your GQ like a successful global leader. Be adaptable, be aware, and be curious show empathy and alignment, partnered with collaboration and integration. With these skills, you'll be able to succeed in serving new markets the same way Jack Ma has. Number 11. Look at your business from the eyes of the customer. 
Jack Ma stands apart from other tech giant founders due to the fact he doesn't have a background in coding and building the technology on the back end. He looks at his business from the front end, the user experience. As Ma puts it, I'm not a tech guy. I'm looking at technology with the eyes of my customers, normal people's eyes. This approach has led to a user-friendly, practical, and universally appealing online marketplace with a customer focus. Number 12. Employ a lot of women. In 2015, Jack Ma spoke at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. There, he gave up what he considers to be one of the most important ingredients in his recipe for success, and it was women. In his address, Ma explained, one of the secret sauces of Alibaba is we have a lot of women. 47 of his staff members are women and 33 senior positions are held by women, much higher than the usual paltry figures we hear of other big companies. And what is the special flavor he thinks that women bring to the business? Well, according to Ma, women think about others more than themselves. This is the key value of Alibaba and how it's able to serve its users. Number 13. Have a purposeful vision and align your business to your values. Jack Ma has no small vision for his company, and he certainly doesn't see Alibaba as a flash in the pan. He plans to have Alibaba around for 102 years. So, how do you plan for that kind of business longevity in an uncertain future? Well, Jack Ma has created a clear approach. He calls it the Six Veins Spirit Sword, a clear set of values that he uses to build the strength his company needs to overcome the business challenges. These six values that Ma holds in high regard are customers first, teamwork, embrace change, integrity, passion, and commitment. Number 14. Run your business with future generations in mind. Jack Ma isn't just about building up a business, but building forward. He's been known for several initiatives that are building up future generations. Before Alibaba became a megalith it is today, Ma had high school students working for him. He gave them equity in the business, which is part of his inclusive growth mindset, which was part of the success of Alibaba as we know it today. In 2015, he had a telephone conversation with then-president of the USA, Barack Obama. He explained that 0.3% of the company's total revenue, not profit, but revenue, was earmarked for younger generations to address environmental issues and had already been in operation since 2010. According to Ma, this should be part of every business culture, saying, I don't want people to have deep pockets, but shallow minds. That is well said. Number 15. Take your competitors seriously, however small they may be. Business people tend to either be paralyzed by their competition or ignore them completely, but the truly successful, like Ma, will tell you it's important to take competitors seriously. This doesn't mean you should be intimidated by them and worry about their every single move. However, if you're aware of what they're doing, you can continue to compete with them. But not so fast. Don't go off and price drop now. Jack Ma has a very different way that works when it comes to cleaning up after the competition. He focuses on competing on services and innovation. Price wars come and go, but service and innovation create customer loyalty. And that, my friends, is golden. So Aluxers, what valuable lessons are you taking away from Jack Ma? We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Now, you stuck with us until the end, so we've got one last bonus for you. One thing is for sure, even though he's one of the richest people on earth, Jack Ma isn't about the money. According to Ma, I always tell myself that we're born here not to work, but to enjoy life. We're here to make things better for one another and not to work. If you're spending your whole life working, you'll certainly regret it. And this sentiment is certainly echoed in the lifestyle and business that Jack Ma created that helps people. If money is your only motivator, you'll never be a true success. Thanks for watching, Aluxers. We always value your thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more great videos.